Hi everyone, welcome back to the Cosplay Madness that is my channel. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make a Miraculous Ladybug mask. And before we get into the tutorial, I just hit a thousand subscribers. That's so cool. So if you aren't subscribed already, make sure you are. Come join the party. And now, let's get into the tutorial. So to start off, I'm just taking a piece of construction paper and folding it in half. I'm doing it the hamburger way, not the hot dog way. Did you, did you do that in elementary school? Anyway, so I'm drawing the shape of a mask on it and I cut it out to see how, if I would like it or not. I actually made the entire mask that big, but I hated it because I couldn't move in it. So I cut the pattern down quite a bit smaller just so I could still move my mouth and smile while I was wearing the mask. So once you have your pattern, take your pattern and place it on a piece of warbler. I'm using black warbler here and just trace it out onto the warbler using a sharpie. Now to cut out the warbler, I like to use tin snips just because they are super sharp and strong and they cut through warbler really easily. And to cut out the eyeball parts, I just use an exacto knife. So hold it up to your face, see if you like the shape, and then take a heat gun and heat up your warbler and then press it onto your face. Don't get it too hot because you don't want to burn yourself because that would not be very fun at all. You might need to reheat the warbler a couple of times just to make sure it's the right shape. And once you are done heating it up, I just took my tin snips and then snipped around some of the edges just to make it super symmetrical. And that's how you make a mask out of Warbler. I'll leave a link to where you can find Warbler in the video description. So now I'm taking some of the fabric I used for my ladybug suit. I'll have a link to where you can get that in the description down below. And I'm just stretching it over the mask and making one of the dots go right in the center of the mask. I'm just using some magnets to kind of keep the fabric stretched over just to hold it in place. Then I'm taking some matte Mod Podge and putting it all over the mask and using a paintbrush just to smooth it down. Make sure you get the edges of the mask just so it stays up and nice. And then to make the fabric stay around the more curved nose parts, I just put a couple of pins in. So cut off the extra fabric, hold it up to your face, and now we're going to put the dots on. So I was not being a good videographer here and you can't really even see what I'm doing. But I used a little bit of hot glue to glue the dots onto the mask. You can use the Mod Podge, but uh, it doesn't really stick that well. So instead I'm just using the Mod Podge to seal the edges down. And again, I'm using magnets just to keep it together, just to keep it in place. Then you're gonna do the same texturing you did for the Miraculous Ladybug bodysuit tutorial. So if you have not seen that tutorial, you can click right up here and you will be able to watch it and see what I'm talking about. And I will give you all of the instructions you will ever want. So I did the red texturing first and then I just did the black. And with the black, I'm filling in all the lines and then going around the outside of the dot with black paint just to kind of seal it in a little bit, you know. And this is your finished mask. And now I'll show you how to attach it to your face. Okay, so I've already done my makeup, which is why I look kind of scary right now, but uh, we're gonna cover up all this scary with the mask that we just made. So, uh, to little little quick thing on how you glue stuff to your face, you can either use spirit gum, which you can find at like Halloween stores and online also, and then Prozade which is a prosthetic adhesive. Uh, I've never seen it at a Halloween store, but it is online. I just got mine from Amazon. It's the Graftobian Prozade. Um, I like using Prozade because it's water-based and a little nicer on the skin than Spirit Gum. My skin doesn't super love Spirit Gum. So, how you use it is you take off your cap and it has like a little brush thing. Um, and you want to paint some of it onto your skin and some of it onto your mask also. So I'm just gonna start with painting on the nose of my mask and on my nose. I'm gonna turn this way to face the mirror a little bit. And then in my eyes. You can put this on your eyebrows and it won't like take them off, but I have not tried that. That is just what I've heard. So if you're brave enough to do that, Go for it. Boop, 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 boop. I'll put a little bit up here at the top. So now you just wait for it to get clear and that's how you know it's tacky and ready to be smushed onto your face. Okay, so as you can see, it doesn't look white on my skin anymore. It still looks a little white on the mask, but that's okay. 
So just uh, kind of look in the mirror a little bit, line it up with where it's supposed to live. Oh, also, I put makeup everywhere that my mask isn't because with these prosthetic adhesives, uh, they don't work super well when you put down a layer of makeup and powder. Um, so, a little extra right there. So anyway, just kind of hold it until it dries and wants to stick to your face. Sticking to my face, shake my face, like move it. Uh, you don't want to move your face too much because uh, this part of your face has a lot of movement in it and if you move it too much it'll fall off. So I recommend taking this with you if you're going to wear Ladybug to a convention or any other kind of superhero mask deal. Uh, and now we're just going to put on the wig. I like to put on my makeup and any prosthetics before I put on the wig just because wigs tend to get in the way and they're kind of, you know, hairy and messy and everything. So put on your wig cap. If you want to know how I styled my Miraculous Ladybug wig, there is a video for that and uh, it will be linked on the screen and in the description. And that is it for my Miraculous Ladybug mask tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and that it was helpful. If you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you know when I put out new videos. And if you have any comments, questions, concerns, you can leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to get back to you. I have a playlist of every Miraculous Ladybug tutorial I've made so that will be linked up here and in the description. If you want to find me on any other social media websites, I'm on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, and Snapchat, and you can find all of those listed in the description as well. Here's a little hint, all of them are one Emily's, just because I wanted to make it easy. Next week, I will show you how I made the yo-yo for my Miraculous Ladybug cosplay, so if you're interested, stay tuned for that, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye!